Hi everybody, hi Facebook fans and Potters. Uh, it's Mike here from uh, Potters Towers here in Hopton on Sea uh, for our first podcast. Uh, uh, in the room, I have some superstars today. Uh, we have Tara, say hello Tara. Hi. We've uh, James R. Hearn. Hi. Uh, we've Nigel Patel, who's our entertainment director. Hello, Mike. And uh, Busby's popped in. Yeah, what about me? Hello, everybody. Oh, Facebook fans, hello. Hi, welcome. Yeah, apo- Good evening. Yeah, apo- hello. Apologies. Bonsoir. Um, we're, we're trying to keep this to half an hour, but we, we are a little worried. Um, right, anyway, Facebook fans, we're going to start off. We've been asking you for the last couple of days to come up with questions that we are going to ask the team. Nigel is the serious person in the room who uh, organises all of our entertainment. Uh, James is obviously one of the most talented members of, of the Potter's staff and comedy team. Oh. And Buzz puts up the Christmas decorations. Oh, <laughs> Right, questions. Uh, there will also be some of the characters from Facebook popping in randomly. Oh, God. As, as we go through this. Uh, first of all, Ian Barnsby. Uh, oh, we love Ian. Ian. We love Ian. Barnsby. Oh, Barnsby. 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 Yep. Barnsby. We don't, right, we, we don't clap, though, otherwise the microphone fails badly on us. Oh, sorry. Okay, we just, we just give him the thumbs up, everyone. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yep, yep, we good. Are right, the Ian up. asks to Nigel, because he obviously wants an intelligent answer. Good man, Ian. Uh, Nigel. What's the most important change that you've seen on resort? Oh my goodness, the most important change. Um, I getting getting Buzz out of day release, I think, from the mental institution was <laughs> having him here fifty two weeks a year was, was a massive. Yes, Buzz. Dagger and Dave putting new underpants on. Uh, I would well going fifty two weeks a year was was monumental for me because that meant we were here all year round. So. We got to enjoy Christmas and uh, all the holidays, so that was great. Um, the huge investment in entertainment, seeing the theatre company come to what it is now, that's been the biggest thrill for me. And Johnny Laugh learning a new joke uh, two years ago. <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah, but I gave it to him, I gave it to him, I gave it to him, I wrote it down. Yeah. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know, why did the chicken cross the road? Because it was Tuesday. This wait, wait, wait! Why did the wait? Why did the elephant cross the road? I don't know. Why did the elephant cross the because road? Because it was tied to the chicken. Okay, I've got one. Why did Busby get invited to this <laughs> podcast? <laughs> yes, I was thinking very much the same. Uh, uh, Nigel, thank you. Um, uh, right, next other questions from our lovely Facebook fans. Nigel, another one for you. Uh, have you got any footage of Sean the very first time he joined the theatre group? No. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, a question from Sue Foley. Uh, I don't know if you know who this is. We said, who's the I new... I have photographs. I have to say, we, we have photographs, not, not video footage, because unfortunately those days of video, uh, it wasn't as common as it is now with everyone having a video on their phone. I've got photos of him looking completely different, very young, very skinny, um, like we all were a lot younger. So I can get some pictures for you, Mike. You can stick those up. Thank you very much. Sue's asking, who's the new hottie in PTC? Male or female? Well, I'm assuming, I'm assuming it could be either way. But okay. Sue, Sue being female, I'm just going to make an assumption. Has she seen somebody? Or of clearly, she... from, her, from her smiley face. No, I don't know who Sue, what kind of thing would Sue be into? It's obviously James R. Hearn. No, no. no he's not new, though. No, oh, that's true. No, no. You know, there's, there's Matt, who's very good looking. Matt's dark, uh, be it like, like James. Uh, he's dark. We've got um, Stephen, there's Fraser. There, what are they? Yeah, it could be Richard Bear. Um, it could be Johnny Laugh. It could be the new hottie. Whoa. Oh, we got lots. We got lots of good-looking guys. I wait, I Busby, Busby, sit down. Can I say it's Busby because he's still available, single, and ready to mingle? Well, he, he is I, single. Busby is single. If there are any of our Facebook of our sixty-six thousand fans out there that, that, that have want, lost their minds, that have lost their minds and want to date can a, just, a ex-tourism superstar, we will film <laughs> it and pay you. Are you looking for love, Buzz? Isn't it one of the two Mexicans who are one of the hottest people on the resort at the moment? Carlos. Yeah. Carlos, hey, Carlos is Carlos. coming in. Look, he's... Oh, he's <laughs> I can't believe that. Carlos is... Carlos is... Carlos. Yeah. Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Yeah, hello to my friends. Hello to all the Facebook fans. How's everybody? Yes. Bambalero. Bambalero. What a lovely place. What's going on in here? What are you talking about? Why are you not talking about We're me? We're talking about the, the latest hottie. You oh, can... hottie. I'm a hottie dotty. That's me. <laughs> Nothing is more hotter than my Mexican yeah. fish. Yes, it's good to have you yes. Bambaleo, Bambaleo. Shall we dance? Shall we sing? Pass Shall we play? Yes, just... I have to go. Bye bye. Uh, can I, uh, we've got a question from Natalie Harris uh, for James Arhern. Right. Uh, she's asking, what is Yellow Friday? 
again, I can be honest now, I have no clue what Yellow Friday is. Having worked with Buzz and Mike and Tara, I don't know if they know it, but that's the truth. I've been asked for so many people asking me, saying, what is it? I truthfully don't know. Have no idea. But again, we soon will know. Busby does know. Busby does know, but... Yes, no, I'm going to tell you now. Yellow Friday... <laughs> Are you sitting on him, James? <laughs> yes, no. Please, I need to know. Please, I've got to for my friends. Come on. There's people waiting to know what it is. Yes. We're seven minutes in. <laughs> Three questions down. <laughs> and what a real joy it is, Mike. And moving on. Who's and, next to the door? And moving on. Nigel, we're going we're gonna to talk about entertainment coming up uh, this year and next year now. We had a question from Heather Fingleton. Uh, which is, which stars are we having uh, next year? Anyone new? Anyone good coming back, etc.? Obviously, our, our new brochure uh, is out. In fact, it's out tomorrow. Um, it is. Uh, and we will be sending it, hopefully, to everybody. And you'll be able to go online and look at our website. So is there anything next year that particularly lights your light Ooh. or floats your boat? <laughs> <laughs> or Mercury. <laughs> Um, well, there's there's still a lot in negotiation which I can't talk about because obviously it might not happen. But there are some exciting names that I'm looking forward to seeing. Um, we're welcoming Jay McDonald back again. Of course, the classics of Brian Conley, Joe Longthorne, Billy Ocean, the Overtones. We would be silly not to invite them back because they are so popular. Yes, Buzz. Dagenham Dave is, is Dagenham Dave going to be here? Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Okay, no. okay. there's not a specific evening. No. Okay. Um, Calabro are with us. Oh my God, Mo De Lawn's just at the door. Mo De Lawn's at the door. Mo De Lawn's is not going to... What perfect timing to yeah, talk about no. Cabrets with, with a gardener. Hello, Mo. Well, I just want to know where the uh, Bori Cad is. I'm not here for this. This is not my favourite. You know you've walked Mo De Lawn's office. I've done my job. I don't know what this Have you been using <laughs> fertiliser? Oh, yeah, I've used everything. Oh my God, you stink. <laughs> that does Thank that does much. not smell Thank good. See you later, Mo, 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 before you go, before you go, Mo. Obviously, we've got many thousands of listeners out there. Right. Of of all of the, you know, it's that time of year when you're obviously looking at mulching and many other autumnal issues uh, with deciduous well, trees. What, what particularly? Would you advise to our Facebook followers at this time of year this to do <laughs> with their gardens? Water. <laughs> go, go. That's it. There'll be a shortage of water, no doubt, throughout autumn and winter. Excellent, Nigel. Back, back to you with the entertainment. Yes. So, talk to us. Talk to us about next year first. Uh, any particular? Which ones do you do you particularly like yourself? I I enjoy the overtones immensely. I think they're brilliant. You can... Oh, oh hang, sorry, up, hang up. Hang up. What? What are going? What? What going on in here? I've come down here and I've got to clean up all this place. And if this, if you don't Marge. come out, yes, yeah, but I've got a job Marge. to do. Yeah, I've got to clean, clean Marge. the carpet, got to wash the walls, and I've got to wipe down all this. Yeah, I've got a lot going on. Yes, what you want, man? It's Odie Lawn that walked in the fertilizer. It wasn't us. I'm oh sorry. my God! Look, but you mash it up all over the place. These are Timberland, son. These were bought. Okay, I've got to go now. Who are you looking forward to next year? I know. I've seen a few of these. Joe Longthorn. Oh, he's coming back. Great voice. Uh, Brian Conley's one of my favourite, yeah. Uh, Chaz and Dave, do you like Chaz that? and Dave, yeah, not my cup of tea, don't really. Rabbit, 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 rabbit. You're rabbit. <laughs> oh, 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 my oh, Marge has oh. just kicked off. It's kicking oh, off. You Come on, I want to clean this room. This is a proper interview. Who's your favourite act be heavy of us? Billy Ocean. Without doubt, the man walks in the place. The minute he starts, everybody's on that dance floor, and for 90 minutes plus, the entertainment value is outstanding. <laughs> and Joe Longhorn <laughs> is the, probably the world's best entertainer there has ever been, apparently, quote by yeah. Tom Jones in Vegas. Dave, you know that? Dave, if I can ask you why you're here, we've actually got quite a few questions from you from the Facebook fans. Lovely. Uh, and you now, read one, obviously, obviously, we've got a big social weekend at the end of January. Uh, yeah. We could possibly still wedge another couple of people on that if you want to phone a book. Oh, really? So, uh, yeah, we can get a few more in, you know, um, today, you know what I mean? Get so on there. We've got a couple first of its kind, in it, Michael? It's, first of its kind. It's the first oh, one in January next year. Yeah. Um, is We've got Natalie's asking. Natalie who? Natalie who? Natalie, no, Natalie Harris. Natalie Harris. Oh, no, She's well, well. saying, will you be able to get a Ford Sierra to get her to the social weekend? I'll tell you what, darling, she can have whatever she wants. Thank you. <laughs> that's a yes. <laughs> Sierra. No, that's a no, we can't do that. Uh, okay. Next. Dagenham? Yeah. Other questions we've got for you. What is your best and dodgiest deal? 
I had a big collection of Hugo Ross t-shirts. They thought they were boss, but it was Hugo Ross. And you know what? I sold them all and people were complaining. They said, Ross. I said, no, it ain't. It's a misprint. They sat wrong with the ink. I had to give 300 of them back. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Sandra Williamson-Mills. Who? It's a long name, I'll give you. Sandra Will- yeah, I know her, yeah. Uh, she knows you well, apparently. Does she? Does Did she we know? dance when we were well, younger? You, you've danced a late night disco, listen, oh, to, yeah. listen to Buzz Spotify Flow Definitely, we've shared um, the nights up there. Uh, <laughs> Dagan and Dave, what yes. is what is your favourite musical? My favourite musical ever, it's got to be a bit of Lay Miserables. It is miserable if one dies at the end, but it doesn't matter. I recently <laughs> saw Miss Saigon. It was fantastic. Do you know does. what? A helicopter comes on the stage. Have you seen our tribute? To Les Miserables. I will say that I sat in there one night with Sharon on the opening night. I, actually, Nigel Patel was there. He didn't really know I was there, but I brought Sharon in, and I'll tell you what she said. That's as good as the musical in London, Dave. I said, "Of course it is, darling. Pot of Spirit Company, only the best." <laughs> <laughs> I've got other things to do, Michael. You might be sitting around this little pod, drinking your Superman cup and your tea, and your wife next year. I've got things to do. I've got to shift six hundred Christmas trees, and it's nearly December. See you later. Oh, God. Nice and tough. <laughs> oh, peace. Oh. Uh, right, so. We've now got someone coming back in the door. Oh, it's David Copperpipe. Oh, oh, oh magician. Oh, <laughs> David. See, he's crazy. He's crazy that, um, <laughs> who is he, Dagnan Dave? Crazy guy, crazy guy. Just back in from Vegas. <laughs> Whoa. Of course we hey, made Debbie. How you doing? No, it's Debbie McGee. Oh, my God. <laughs> Debbie Nuffy. You look so much like Debbie. I mean, it's uh, unremarkable. Oh, I mean, it's you know. Debbie Nuffy. Yeah. David, oh. David, I, I know you're here for a special reason. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, we're both here, Michael. Oh, yeah, sorry, oh. sorry, sorry, Debbie. Debbie. That's yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, to be on, honest, really I'm, I'm talking to the talent. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you, Michael. You've, you've, you've got a trick. You've specifically designed a trick that works on a podcast. And you've come here to perform that trick. Okay. Shall I do All right, dance? okay, 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 okay. I've got the cards here for you. Okay, so if <laughs> I've got the ace of spades, I've got the ace of hearts, and I've got the ten of clubs. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna give you the card. Okay, okay. Okay, and I want you to cut that in two, okay? Okay. So cut it. Oh, David, right. you're so strong. Okay, now so what I'm going to do... Okay, for Debbie. Okay, Why is so, she naked? Now what I'm going to do... Now, 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 no, no, Debbie. Now what she's got to do... Yeah. Now I'm going to make Debbie... Yeah. Eat that. Put what? that in your mouth. What? Now come on, put that in your mouth. Uh, now look, eat sure? it. That's right. Now, now all of it. Oh, all of it. That's right. Now chew it. Now chew it. Now chew it. Okay, keep chewing. Okay, that's it. She's gone okay. bleeding. Okay. <laughs> That's Debbie. better, right? Now, She's now, 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 should we just have the paramedics on standby just in case? Mr. Paddle, yeah. your card now has disappeared. Nice. Thank you very much. I'm here all week. Thank that's you. Incredible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a one-off illusion that's going to really make you gasp. Okay, so it's going to be in the theatre. It's going to be a one-off. Debbie's going to be there. Is this where you fired Debbie out of the cannon? Uh, it could be. It's going to be bigger than that. And everyone's going to realise at the end of the day who David Carpenter is. Are you going to saw Debbie in half? I'm going to do something uh, much more. I'm gonna Is there actually... any way you can do something that kills Debbie? That's what There's something that we've got in mind. <laughs> but can I tell so you? Good. Let me just clear something as well. That me David. and Debbie have you no an way an are you, item. Are you a couple? We're not. No. David, we're actually tell a him the truth, David. He, she. He, she. He, she. He, she. She wants to be that rich. Tell him. Listen, out of air right now. I'm not interested in you. I have lots of women and you're not just the only one. You will work with me, and there's no way ever, ever that we will get together. I love it when you get angry. He's so good. Uh, David, while you're here, we've got a, we've got a question from Stephen Benj. Benj, who says, "Will you and Debbie ever get married?" <laughs> oh, I don't know about you. I think we got to stop this. Anyway, all you got to know is I'm going to be here. The biggest illusion in general, social media. Mike, all of you, thank you very much for today. Come, Debbie, we got to go. It's good, good, good to see you. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, guys. Come, come on, Debbie. Come on. Bye. Oh, oh, so right. good. Nigel, back, back to normality. I've got, I've got a few more questions to knock through. Certainly. Um, Robert Webster is saying, obviously, we're renowned for giving away our medals as part of our day activities. He wants to know how many medals do we give away every year? Oh my goodness, that's a good one for Buzz. How many medals, Buzz? How many do you give away each week in the summer? Let's just say anyone who wins it will get a medal, that's what we... That wasn't actually the question, but don't let that get in the way. Yes, okay. I, would, I would say ten, probably mm. getting on for 
ten thousand, maybe more. 20, more, 000. more, more. We give away. <laughs> the, yeah. We don't know the answer to this question. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. So you win a medal for the best question. Of the day. But at least you know if you do Thousands. win, you will receive something, and that's what. And we, that's these what are solid do. gold medals. Oh, oh, it's worse than solid gold. Worse? Mm. No, more than solid gold. It's plated. I know Paul Firminger, our technical resort manager, has a medal that he won from Digger the Dog way back in oh. the sort of eighties. And he holds on to that medal, which is pretty sad, really. <laughs> I said to him, have you discovered Xbox, PlayStation? He went, no, I've got this medal. Does he still wear it? Yeah, yeah, he's got it on today. But to be given a, a, a medal from Busby is quite a big thing, though, isn't it? Well, to be Busby. quite honest, there's a lot of people who, who enter the competitions yeah. and have never won, yeah, yeah. so they will constantly keep coming back, I, I, and they want I to I think win a few a years ago, because we will remind, we'll remind people that Busby won... A, a national award. It was a few what years ago. What yeah, was that he, he was the the UK's. He right. hasn't mentioned it. Tourism superstar. Has he really? I know it's hard to but believe. There's loads of pictures around resort of him. There are loads there? of pictures that he's put up himself he's so humble, around though. the resort. In fact, we've actually got a full time uh, carpenter walking around taking <laughs> yeah. them down. But if you go into the stars' dressing room, <laughs> he is know. photoed with every. Star I have heard in the green room that yeah. basically it is a a <laughs> montage of Busby Allen. Only to yeah. let people know of all the talent that we've had here at Potters, and that's. It's yeah. not to do with me. And I want everybody to know yeah. who we've had in the, the, the doors, yeah. from Jed Wood to Billy Ocean but to Bob Monkhouse to Ken Donovan. Dunn well, to Jason Donovan. But they're in the shadow, really. No, to Billy, to um, Edwin Starr. Mm. Yeah. We've, had, we've had some of the finest, yeah, you, and that's you, what's... You, no, that is what's you, brilliant you, about Potters. I'll we get the top. <laughs> you. You won the award. For mm. you, for customer no, care and service, and we you've hardly ever award. mentioned. You've it. never mentioned it. We've in fact, it's almost, I didn't even know yeah, and, until I went on Twitter and read you tweeting every ten seconds. I'm shocked. <laughs> we won the award. You were so subdued so about it. Is right? it true? Uh, listeners, is it we're true? actually in a little studio at the top of Potter's, and in this room there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 27 posters up what about with that pictures one? of uh, 28, sorry, <laughs> with pictures of Busby's face. I have a car sticker. <laughs> have you? Mike, is it true though? Because I've heard different rumours that he's actually going to get his own statue on the green. Uh, it is true, but the funny thing is, it's actually going to be him. Yeah, we're just going to spray oh, him. We're going <laughs> to bronze him bronze and stick him, him, him on a thing. On a, on a um, but he would do that. Because not a lot of people know that actually Busby does live on resort. And I know where he lives. <laughs> You do yeah. know where he lives? I know, but I'm never, ever saying <laughs> And I know his real name. I, I also know his real name. Oh, me too. M. Oh. It is. Oh. So that's a competition. That's right? is. Anyone can yeah. know Busby's yeah. real name and where he lives. They can get a free meal cooked by Busby. Oh. And for a bonus prize. How, How old, old is, is Buzz? <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> He's sweating. Nigel, Nigel. Yes. Sanity. Yes. We, are, we are literally a few days off our first festive show. <laughs> and... Tonight, firstly, <laughs> firstly, what? Uh, about ten minutes. I mean, time. the most important question of all. Yes, is Busby in it? <laughs> um, he will appear. The Naughty Elves are back this year. Oh, are they? <laughs> really? Yeah. Luckily, they're not here today, though, are they? No, thank God. No. no. Um, they, the Elves, will be back, mm. which means lots of mischief. Festive breaks do begin next week, and Thursday night we'll see the unveiling of the brand new. Christmas spectacular. And what be called this Christmas spectacular? This yeah. Christmas be spectacular be called <laughs> The Great Christmas Songbook. And did somebody come up with that name? <laughs> no. No, it just, it just <laughs> named itself. What to is be it fair, it, Nigel, it is better is than it? last year's Christmas show in terms of mm. last year's Christmas show was so long we actually it's couldn't remember. To fit it on any yeah. <laughs> publications. Yes, the most wonderful time of the year. Which was a great show. It was, and it was it was a very long title. Was it a spectacular show? It was spectacular. And it, this one's even more spectacular. I think this one, I think they get more spectacular every time. Yes. They do them. So, Great Christmas Songbook. <laughs> we've, named it, we've named it the Great Christmas Songbook because it is the most songs we've ever crammed into one show. How many? Well, if you consider the songs we then do for the countdown, there's well over 50 songs in the show. We don't do the entire song, obviously. We, you know, we, we edit the songs. We wouldn't want you sitting there for a day listening to your favourite songs. So, Nigel, could you sing a couple for us now? I Ooh. couldn't. <laughs> and is, is uh, nepalism... Is nepalism... Is That's one not a real word. Yes, nepalism. it is. Nepalism is a real no, it's word. Not. Yes, it is. It's not. Nepotism. Do you mean nepotism? Oh. What's nepotism? You mean using... <laughs> Oh my goodness, Nepalism. 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 Are they Nepalism. people that live in Nepal? Oh, that's rude. 
Nepalism. Nepotism. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it. What's she doing? Right. Nepalism. Yes. Right. Is one of your songs in it? <clears throat> what? Nepalism. Gotcha! Is, is the Christmas... Oh, I get what you're saying. Yes. Is the Christmas song that yes. we wrote and recorded for oh, last year... are we talking about... Is that in the show? Everybody yes. Loves Christmas. Yeah. Yes. Is that Chris- in the show? Christmas. Everybody, Everybody loves, loves Christmas. Christmas. It's totally forgettable. Yeah. Is that in the show? Yes. No. Is the banana wrap thing that Buzz thought was going to get him to number one and was in the Asda bucket within a minute? Do the banana shuffle. That was it, the banana shuffle. No. No, thank God. I'm there. Buzzby, do you want to talk about the banana shuffle or should we move on? (laughs) 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 So 50 songs. So Nigel. So that's obviously obviously lots of... We've got a new theatre company. We have. Um, they've, they've been with us now for about five or six weeks. Oh, no, they're lovely as well. They are you? a lovely group of young, Very talented. young, talented, attractive. Oh, so ev- everything that we're not, guts, effectively. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, really resent that. Well, apart from guys. James Arhern, obviously. Thanks, Thank, you. Thank you. And Thank there's you. some real hotties, as we said. Mike, you're doing a really good job. Thanks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, comedy this year? Is, is there Hopefully. <laughs> That'd be a, be a first. Thanks, that's right. There is, there is, uh, there's a very exciting new comedy sketch, which I can't say too much about, but it does involve a particular, um, a particular animal that belongs to me. Yeah, Uh, yeah, lots of, lots of new comedy. Um, Yes. (laughs) (laughs) We certainly... We'll have laughs all the way. Yes. Mark Brewer has been working on his new Star Wars sketch, seeing as it's going to be the biggest film of the year, and that involves getting people, willing people of our audience, up onto stage as he does so well. So obviously that's that's the show itself taken care of. So lots of festive cheer, comedy, Mark as a Jedi, wonderful music. We have for the first time ever an orchestra on the stage. We have Ooh. embellished our band by adding at least a dozen more musicians. So for the first time ever, the Great British Songbook deserves an orchestra to back it. So when the curtains open and reveal the set, I think there will be a real <coughs> gasp from our audience when they see the amount of musicians on stage. It's, it's going to sound and look stunning. A lot of the listeners, or most of the listeners, in fact, probably none of the listeners will know that Buzz, in your spare time between refreshing your Spotify playlist... Um, you, you <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant, Mike. You, There's always a bit of gold, and that's the gold. You, uh, one of your jobs is actually decorating the resort. Yes. So, outside the theatre, what are your plans this year? Well, we've how got, many light bulbs are you putting up? We've got an incredible amount of light bulbs to be putting up. We want to make, as with every other year, this year yeah. even more special. And the decor for Christmas is going to be outstanding. Can I say, Buzz, as well, you do a wonderful job because no, it truly wait. does look spectacular. We do a wonderful right, sorry, job. Sorry, but you, you do like the Halloween as well. Yes. I know we're, we're, we're we, going back, but the we. Halloween this year, I've just got to say, was spectacular. Sorry, we. I know we're digesting whatever you call it. As with winning the tours. I'm not sure we're, not sure we're digesting. Digest. What are we That's doing? something you digressing. do with your dinner. That's the word. We're digressing. We are digressing. The as winning well. the tourism superstar, we <laughs> won it. Oh my God. Oh, we seem you to have got back to the uh, the tourism <laughs> award. Say, there's a new photo. <laughs> the there's a new photo though. of the Star's dressing room of Busby. Actually, I just want to say there's three more posters gone up in here during this podcast. <laughs> 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 yeah. Buzz is actually standing, putting up pictures of, of himself, himself and waving at people past. And he says it's for us. Yes, it's all about <laughs> it's the all resort. It's all about us. Yeah. So we'll move on. Okay, so we have a question from Mark Ed Pentecost. Mark. 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 We haven't seen Flange. The last we saw of Flange, she was being kidnapped by four assailants. We know who you are. Yeah. And taken off resort. Caught on CCTV footage. I don't know. Oh, so someone at the door. Hang on, Mike. Sorry. Wait, I want to know who's got my friend. It's the Phantom. Oh, it's the Phantom. Oh, my God, Phantom. I want her back now. If you don't bring her back, I'm going to find out where you live and I'm going to get you. Bring back Phantom. my friend, Flange. Phantom. There is there is a rumour that it could be Ian Barnsby. I'm no, not saying it is. Not Ian But you and Barnsby. him have history. Oh, no. He was my father, but not anymore. But I want my friend Flange back. If you do not bring her back now, they will be. 
it's a, it's a shame Bravo. because Flange had prepared a song for the social media where she actually get, you got to hear her sing and unfortunately now she won't be here to do it so I just want to share it. It was, Fa- it, Phantom have you met the UK's tourism superstar Busby Allen <laughs> here he is <laughs> Buzz this is the Phantom this should be interesting. This is the first time you two have oh. ever met. Oh, my God. <laughs> you look at all yellow, and you should be in all black. Well, you know what? I'm. Uh, it's it's teamwork as it happens. Well, next time you come out, make sure you put a different colour. Well, I don't know if I can, really. Oh, my God. How on earth do you walk around? The people see you so bright. I cannot cope with the brightness. Well, you look really dark as it happens, Phantom. Well, that's what I want. I want to scare everybody. This could I've go got, on for hours. <laughs> I've got to go on now, but bring back Flange. It's a shame, it's a oh, shame. It's a shame. Oh, it's a shame. It's a shame. Yeah. Yeah. If anybody knows what's happened, obviously we're still like, you know, everyone's been looking into it and I don't know where she is. Mark Jones, can we talk to Mark Jones? Wasn't he uh, one of the uh, Star Wars? Um, he's never won a tourism. Uh, no, you, but he's a nobody. Yeah. He's nobody <laughs> because he hasn't won an award like you have, must be. No, but we've won an award, haven't we? Were you were you not in the EDP only today? I was. Oh. And can you tell us why we were in the EDP oh. today? I was collecting award on behalf of Potters. Exactly. As customer care. At the EDP Archant Business Awards for Norfolk. And well, that, that, that was an award for Potters as opposed to your award, Busby, which was all about you. Yes. And got you five this is an award cash. we can share. Yours is an award we envy. But. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nigel. Yes. We've got some more questions. Good. Debbie Ingle. Never enough questions. Never enough. Debbie. She wants to know, because the sweeper, obviously, if you were here this year, you will have uh, seen our sweeper out on the family green, knocking children left, right and centre. Uh, Will the sweeper be back for next year? I'm sure the sweeper's going to be back. It was one of the most popular things we had. So, yes, we will certainly be having that back next year. Yes. So, people that haven't been on resort recently, we've had some changes over the last few months. We've had the complete refurb of the whole of the reception area. No, I think it really has got that five-star feel to it now. You walk through the door and it just, it, it is, it's a luxurious reception. The flooring and the walls and the furniture, I, um, the game zone, everything about it. To me, it's like a mini Vegas. Would you agree, Buzz? The decor's outstanding. Yeah, thanks, so Buzz. We've just got to finish with the uh, large picture of Buzz going up in reception, I assume. Mm. Yeah, always the arrow, the, the neon statue. arrow pointing at him. You know. And how big is that picture going to be, Mike? There's reports that it was going to be... It's like life-size, so it's about four foot two. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, James Hearn got that joke oh, around sorry, 10 I'm seconds sorry. after everybody I'm sorry. else. I'm just, uh, just <laughs> and we didn't even realise that one. This sums me up. Um, so we've also got, uh, we've obviously got the new game zone, which features Busby Allen. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he's, got he's got a picture, isn't he? He has a picture the, of him uh, inside in a Volkswagen camper yeah. van. So why was it other people put in there? Was it just because they wanted it to be another Busby monument? It was basically all about Buzz. Right. It yeah. was after he won an award. It got what basically. award was that, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to notice a huge change when you walk into reception. Um, it's still us. It's still the same friendly welcome, but the, uh, the ambience has certainly got that five-star <clears> feel to it now. Nigel. Nigel. Christmas is magical at Potter's, isn't it? Now, every year on Christmas Eve, we have reindeers. Are they coming back this year? Yes, we will be having the... We can't not have Christmas without reindeer. Excellent. And, uh, Mike, are you excited about the, uh, the Christmas video? Oh, the Christmas Star video. Yes. We are actually we are filming a Christmas Star video again this year, which we will put up on Facebook in weeks to come. Nigel, what, what track are we going with this year? We're going for the Roy Wood and Wizard classic i wish it could be christmas every day so we're filming um in about a week's time and we're going around the whole resort filming every department they'll all be featured and then i've got to edit it all together and get it out in time for christmas so no doubt there'll be a few characters that you recognize on there as well as some you don't normally see in the background like our uh, kitchen staff and our housekeeping all the people that go to make the Potters work and make it a great Christmas. They're all going to get the people finished. that do the real work, not like Busby. Uh, is that Windy Wendy at the door? No. <laughs> oh no! Does it have to be? Oh my! Hello. Uh, oh god! Hello, everybody. Why do you yes. call it? Oh, I see. Yes, yes. <laughs> Windy. What oh. a beautiful day it's been. It's been mild. Windy. It's been mild today. Of course it is. It's but can I just awesome. say, um, due to uh, 
the temperature and the forecast outside, I do truly believe we've got a, a 1% chance of rain. I was going to ask you about, yes. basically, we, we've had Stephen Penge ask, what qualifications do you actually have to... All of them. All, all, of them. all three of them. Can you name them? Yes. Go on, then. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a degree or... or uh, you know? Yes, I've got all the degrees, degrees, I've got all the temperatures, and I've got all the Fahrenheits as well. Oh, well done. Excellent. That's, and the long-term yes. forecast is... Uh, yes. Will we have yes. a white Christmas? That's what everyone wants to know. Where, where... Well, forecast predicts, due to the temperature and the way the climate's actually running at the present time, I'm, I, we just need a little more data, so within the next couple of weeks... Uh, we'll know precisely whether or not it will be snowing on Christmas Day. And if it does snow on Christmas Day, I can assure you I'll be putting some money down. Cheerio! Bye! Bye, Wendy. Bye, gotta Don't go. be a stranger. What's going on in here? What? Wait! What are you doing sitting in your... Control. You're supposed to you be making sure that this is... You're supposed to have a hot star. cup of tea. The room Come has up. been invaded by passport control. You're not allowed so. hot cup of tea on the desk, yes. Michael. You should know that. How, Somebody, can you, how can you guys guarantee it's going to be the best of Christmas? Because we are going round to make sure that everything is clean, everything is tidy. Check. Every, everything is in the right place. Check. The food is going to be delicious. Check. The costumes for all the entertainers and all the staff will be clean and tidy. Check. The reception, all the girls behind the reception will smile like this check and on the 10 pin bowling all the balls will be round check and as for sports any sport that we will have on you will be able check. to do that have been funny um, though yes, the, funny. Uh, the naughty elves this year we will watch out for them oh they my god I'm telling you no 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 the pains, they, they cannot the get away with that rock. Rock. Uh, so <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go around the table quickly and get a goodbye from everybody. So it's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from Tara. Goodbye. It's goodbye from James Arhern. Goodbye. It's goodbye from Nigel. A goodbye, and we look forward to seeing you soon. <laughs> and thank you, and goodbye. Hey, what about me? Thank you for all the questions, Ian Barnsby, Mark <laughs> yeah. Pentecost, all the rest of you for sending your questions in. Yeah, much appreciated. We yes. do appreciate it. And let's make it 70,000 followers next year, guys. Yep, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Ciao. Great. Thanks, Busby. All the best. Lovely. Yeah, Lovely. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. We Merry wish Christ you a Merry Christmas. We wish.